This is Twit. Uh, this is this is really the antithesis of an iPad app. It's called Blink, and what I like about it, by the way, is it supports uh, Face ID. It is a command line terminal program for iOS. <laughs> Uh, everything you do, you have to type. Um, it's really for people who have logins to other computers. So if you're a sysadmin, uh, if you run a shop, it's a real saving for me because there are things you can't do on an iMac, like run Emacs or Vim, but but you might want to do, and now you can. This is actually the best terminal, uh, terminal emulator for iOS. It works on the iPhone too, which is kind of cool, although... A little harder to type on the iPhone uh, than it is uh, on an iPad. But with, if you have an iPad like I do, with a with a command with a uh, keyboard, keyboard, now you really have. Notice, by the way, they have the additional keys that you don't find on the Apple keyboard, like Escape, available here. Uh, you could turn that on or off, and it, the configuration is as appropriate from the command line. You could store your SSH keys in here, as I have, and what that does is it means you. You know, if you set up an SSH server uh, so that you don't use a password, this is a much more secure way to log into it. I know people are going, what is he talking about? It has a variety of, uh, of different uh, themes. You could do WWDC, Solarized. Could you make it pink? You could. Okay. And it comes with some very nice um, fonts for, you have to use uh, mono... Uh, you know, uh, fixed with fonts. It comes with my favorite, Fira Code, which I really like, but is also Source Code Pro and Menlo and Courier. You can change the font size. I, I like to have a fairly big font size, uh, but on the phone, you might want to have a smaller size and so forth. Um, you could hook your phone up to an external keyboard pretty easily and yeah. you really needed to... This is, this is for me, uh, well, I'll, 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 for instance, and, and by the way, it supports not only SSH, but my favorite uh, secure... Uh, enter entering thing mosh which is great for mosh is useful for um, uh, mobile because i'm just going to log into my minecraft server here mosh is great for mobile oh i have to do it manually because i don't think i entered it in this by the way it saves the keys and the logins and everything to icloud so you configure it once and it'll be configured on all your ios devices leo at don't uh don't uh, pay too much attention to this. That's all right. You can. Laporte.network. This is going to log me into... Oh, now, don't pay attention to this because I need a key password. Wouldn't want anyone in your Minecraft server. Yeah, this is for my Minecraft server, but it's also a Debian server. And I, so I'm logged into it now. Uh, it supports Tmux. Uh, it supports automated uh, logins. You can show it. You can show it now. So now I'm no longer on my iPad. I'm on, uh, in fact, I can go over to my Minecraft server. Let's, let's just see if anybody's playing the uh, Minecraft. Uh, let's see. I left the game recently. Uh, let's see if there's another. This is another server and another server and another server. And so these are various servers running. I can stop the server. I can restart the server. Um, this, is, this is a command line logged into a computer in my house. Um, I could even run if I wanted to. I think I have Emacs on here. Let me just see. I could run, uh, yeah. So I can run uh, Emacs. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd ever want to run Emacs on your iPad? No, probably not. But you can. That's the point. You could if you wanted to. What could I do on that? Nothing. It's not for you. This okay. is this is this is not for you. But but uh, it fair. is it is very handy for people. I need to get in. This build is outdated. All right. Looks like. Oh. So that's one of my next tasks. And I can do it from my iPad, which is handy. I can rebuild my uh, my server and, and so forth. Uh, and it looks like I need to do that uh, in just a bit. So very handy. Uh, it is a very limited um, program. It's not for everybody. It's also expensive. It's $20. Uh, but it's an open source project. You can find out more at blink.sh. It is a... I've tried a number of terminals on iOS uh and this is really the one. So if for some reason, this is really geeky, but if for some reason you want a terminal, um, you know, and I could do Python programming on here because I'm, because I'm logged in to a, um, a real uh, server, I could, I could do anything I could do. You, you're not going to get a GUI, but I could do anything I could do in the command line. So if I want to run Python, now I'm in Python. 
So there's so that's kind of that's kind of handy. So if you this came up because uh, on a Twig on Wednesday, Kevin Toffel was talking about how he was using a Chromebook and he couldn't and he wanted to do some programming, but he couldn't on his Chromebook. But he figured out how he could log into a Raspberry Pi. Well, you could do exactly the same thing if you wanted on iOS as well. Log in, do any kind of programming you want. It's not for GUI. It's command line only. But if you know what a command line is and you like a command line, then you should definitely take a look at blink, blink dot S H. Not cheap, 20 bucks, but I decided I wanted to pay for it to su support development.